We have an 85-year-old father and his 43-year-old son on a sunny day. They're hiking. The story opens up with the son complaining that instead of the other hikers saying hi to them, he just stared at them like there's something wrong with them. Apparently, saying hi to other hikers is a customary gesture hikers should do. I mean, I wouldn't know more for laying in bed all day while waiting for the world to blow up kind of guy. So the son's all like, why are they looking at us like that? All judgmental. It's almost like the judgmental looks the English settlers gave the natives before they tortured them and took their lands from them. It's so weird. Do you think they can tell I want to f*** my dad? <laughs> Rural literally wrote, The same scrupulous looks of cruelty and fear the early settlers had shared with the land's primitive tribes before rejecting them, shepherding them by any means necessary, sometimes through unbridled violence, from the very seed of their birthright, and then moved on to incest. Also, I feel like calling the natives primitive tribes is a whole another can of worms, but I won't be cracking that one open today, because I'm, I'm not qualified. And then for the entirety of the story, we just read about a son thirsting for his dad. <laughs> He was like groping his dad and the dad was wearing a jacket and this and and his son is just like dad aren't you heating up maybe maybe you should take your jacket off dad huh dad maybe you should take your jacket take your jacket off constantly trying to strip this man down and telling us that his dad has some delicious biceps <laughs> Then we find out that the reason they're hiking is because the dad chose a graveyard in this place. I don't even know, like, why are we hiking up to a graveyard? I've never seen that before. Why do we have a graveyard up on a hill? What if there's an earthquake or something and the dead will just come crushing down? Anyway, they finally make it to the top with a tour guide, mind you. That poor guy, because the son is giving his 85-year-old dad a sensual shoulder massage. All right, and thinking of getting topped by him, standing next to a graveyard, next to a stranger man. And while this central shoulder massage thing is happening, the tour guy's like, I'll, I'll give you guys some time. I'll be over there. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go. <laughs> and now they're alone. So the son's like, this is the perfect opportunity to come clean about some things. And he's like, Dad, I love you. That's like, I love you too, son. You're my son. You, you're my son. You know, we made you. <laughs> Your mother and I, we made you. <laughs> and then the son is like, I love you the same way that my mother loved you. And I want to show you my love the same way my mother used to show her love to you. <laughs> That's like, I think you should go. Sounds like, but dad, you know, this, like this is these are some like really serious feelings. That dad's like, please leave, leave, or I'm gonna do something I'm gonna regret. So the son leaves, and while he's on his walk of shame down this hill, he's freaking out of his mind. Okay, he's never been rejected like this. <laughs> he's more delusional than I am, right? Because he's like, did my dad tell me to leave? Because he was gonna beat my ass, or did my dad tell me to leave? Because he was gonna beat my ass. <laughs> Dude, you're 40. You want to marry your dad. What's wrong with you? Then he goes back after a while. And unfortunately for him, his dad very conveniently died. On top of his reserved grave plot. So, this is what happened. This guy has been in love with a man for 43 years right and turns out the guy he's in love with is his dad <laughs> and turns out the second that he confessed his love to his dad his dad died <laughs> <laughs> how do you even get over that and so i, I don't want to no you know in a normal situation you you know, I would, I expected this guy to, like, be shamed, you know, like, feel, feel shame for killing your dad with, 
with your with your feelings you know just be ashamed that you just killed your dad and you were in love with him but no no this guy gets on the ground spoons his dad and starts imagining a life where both of them are naked in a bed cuddling like that and they're so happy they're so happy nothing happened they're so happy they're doing it they're banging it they're doing it man they're just so happy you know? and i would also like for you to imagine that this is not some like 20 year old guy who just realized that he has these feelings for his dad right it's not it's he's he's in his 40s so in his life he's probably had many flings he's probably had many boyfriends and what he was doing when he was arching for those men he was actually arching for his dad <laughs> imagine you're having sex with a guy and you're thinking that it's going great <laughs> Like this is like this is really working, you know. You would like to do this again. It's really great. And the dude, he's just thinking about his dad, man. He's just thinking about his dad's biceps. He's thinking about his dad's ass. You're not even there. You're not there. You're just a piece of meat for him. Imagine that. Imagine that. That 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 is wow. Hey fellas, once again, how you doing? <laughs> I wanted to hop on you real quick and give you an update on what's popping because I haven't uploaded in a really long time. I swear every time I try to get my shit right and decide to have a clear uploading schedule, something happens. It's like the universe is telling me to shut up or something. Whoever fucking blasphemed me better face me right now. One of these extreme horror authors, they're coming for my neck, bro. Some of you know this already, I was having some wisdom teeth pain like a month ago, then I went to the dentist, took an x-ray, and found out that I don't have wisdom teeth. So that's great, that happened. But guess what? I'm still in a lot of pain, and I don't know why. And I guess because of the pain that I'm feeling, I'm living in delusions. I keep having these weird dreams. Last night I saw, m I was, I had a dream where I adopted a baby cat, and that baby cat was actually paper. You know that episode in Tom and Jerry where Tom is just like paper thin? It was like that, but my cat did not move. My cat was just a piece of paper on top of a desk. And for the entire dream, I just stared at him, but he never moved. And everybody kept telling me that my cat is dead. So that was really fun. There's another dream that I've been having for like a week. It's like... The it's, I'm at a boxing match, and it's Killian Murphy against a furry, but Killian Murphy is also rocking that ears, paw gloves, and tail look. I still don't know if he won or lost. I, I don't know the verdict yet. They're still fighting over there, but I feel like that should tell you a lot about my mental right now. Opening my mouth feels like being stabbed in my left cheek, the one on my face. Now that I'm thinking about it, things can always get worse. I'm glad it's not my ass. I literally can't chew with my left side, which means I'm building hella muscles on my right side. So don't piss me off or I'll bite you. I couldn't even chew my banana this morning. It was, it was very sad. I just wanted to let you guys know that until I figure this shit out, uploads will be inconsistent again, depending on how much pain I'm in and stuff. I'm sorry for that. You all are so nice to me. I wish universe could do that too, you know? God gives his hardest battles to his toughest soldiers. But I'm weak, and he knows that. So what's up with this? I don't know. But once I figure it out and learn that it's not cancer, because it's, it's always cancer for some reason, I'm going to return stronger than ever. Probably not, but I, I did feel cool saying it. I have a bunch of videos planned, but if you guys have any suggestions other than book reviews, you can leave them down in the comments. Book reviews will keep coming, obviously, but I want to diversify the content a little bit, do like some really short videos like this. So if you have any suggestions, don't be shy.
I hope you all are doing much, much better than me. Take care of yourselves, all right? And I also hope that you have a healthier relationship with your dads. And I hope that you don't want to get your dad naked and afraid. Because if you stop that, you, that, that's weird. 